live Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. We'll get ready for major changes underway right now as cold air takes over our area. It's going to be below average, but compared to where we have been way above average, this is going to be quite the tumble this weekend as temperatures are going to be frigid. Add in a chance for snow. We're reverting back to January type weather. Live Super Doppler 4 HD in alert mode right now as we're awaiting for that snow to arrive tomorrow. We're all clear across the southeast. The actual system is way back toward the Midwest. It's about 868 miles away, but as it travels at its same pace, it'll be arriving in the mountains in about one day and one hour. So by my watch and my math here uh, at about 7, 8 o'clock tomorrow, we'll begin to see the snow flying around in Asheville and Hendersonville. It's cold up in the mountains, 47 in Asheville, 49 in Hendersonville while Greenville is at 59, 68 in Abbeville. You get the picture cold air moving in as we move into the overnight hours. It's going to be cold area wide. 38 in Greenville, 39 in Spartanburg. As we head into the overnight hours, it is going to be in the 20s in the mountains. For tomorrow in the upstate, most of the day dry. It's 10, 11, 12 o'clock tomorrow evening. We'll start to see a cold rain, possibly mixed with some wet snowflakes in the northern part of the upstate. But temperatures will be cold, only middle 50s in the upstate tomorrow. For the Asheville Hendersonville area, a different story. Clouds will build early in the day. You'll struggle to get out of the 30s, maybe making it to 40 or 41 degrees. Then your chance for snow develops around 8, 9, 10 o'clock, and it will really ramp up around midnight. Look for high temperatures tomorrow to be about 20 degrees cooler than what we had today. Middle 50s, lower 40s in the upstate with that snow moving in. Let's time it out for you. While most of the day will be dry across the area, it's tomorrow evening that we'll see the chance for cold rain begin to move on in. This shows it slowing down a bit, but everything else I'm seeing on the model shows it moving in around 2 a.m. That appears to be the peak of the storm, 2, 3, 4 o'clock, and we'll see that rain snow line right along the North Carolina, South Carolina border. This gets interesting because by 8 o'clock, that low moving off the coast and it strengthens. That whips around a quick cold wind, so we may get a little snow shower or two in areas like Lawrence, Union, Greenwood, Anderson, Hartwell, even Elberton. It's a bit optimistic to see it that far south. Let me show you where I think we'll see the snow and where I think we won't. And this is how much accumulation you'll get. A trace. That basically means a dusting to a half an inch. And I think that's possible in the northern part of the upstate, but not on the roads. I think we're talking grassy surfaces, your deck, your grill, your car. Anything that's elevated and cold enough because the ground's so warm right now. I-40 northbound, 1 to 3 inches. Then you get into some big numbers, 3 to 6, up toward the high country. This is not going to be a big deal across the area. More of a, a novelty type event. Go take a picture before it melts. Uh, by midday type event across the area. Four day plus looks like this. An 80% chance of a cold rain late tomorrow. Most of the day dry. A 60% chance of that rain snow mix early on Sunday. Most of the day dry on Sunday. 44 the high though. In the mountains we see a chance for rain and snow again on Monday and Tuesday. A lighter event there because this system doesn't have a lot of moisture with it. Clouds on Tuesday as colder air begins to move back in again. On Wednesday we see a low in the 20s in the upstate teens in the mountains.